like a monster from another planet. Yep, nothing can stand in its way. Sidewinder to copter watchdog. Jungle death complete. How did she look from up there, General? She looked just fine, Sweeney. Whew, what a machine. Nothing can stop the Army now, sir. You head for rendezvous nine. The hell a jet will take you back to base. Sidewinder out. Well, guess that's it, boys. Trials are over. take this beauty back to camp from there. Sidewinder, do you read me? <laughs> General Peters, the Sidewinder, it's gone, disappeared. What? Get back there, Captain, and fast. I can't see for the smoke. Wait, there's a hole down there. This is Copter Watchdog. Come in, Sidewinder. Acknowledge. Come in, Sidewinder. Frank. Johnny. Hey, what hit me? This is Copter Watchdog. Do you read me? Hello, Copter Watchdog. This is Sidewinder. Hey, Sweeney. You okay? Yeah, some bruises, but we're all right, I guess. Now, how does it look down there? Well, we've tipped over on our side. That means we can't move. Well, how far down are you? It's got to be 300 feet down. It's hot. Go ahead, John. I've just picked up some U.S. Army transmissions, Father. One of their new sidewinders seems to have fallen into some kind of underground fire. Sidewinder weighs upwards of 500 tons. We'll need some pretty heavy lifting gear. But this is the middle of the wilderness, Sergeant. It will take weeks to get equipment up here. Excuse me, sir. I'll have to move the copter clear. The heat is building up. If we hover here, we'll be needing a rescue team ourselves. Okay, Captain. Call the hell jet immediately. Right, sir. Watchdog from Helijet. What gives, General? Shut down your engines and disembark. O okay, Ralph. Let's go. Turn off the motors, Captain. Yes, sir. Atomic reactor operating at normal, Colonel. Great, Frank. Let's hope it stays that way. John, I want you to keep this frequency clear. Down here, I'm going to put Scott on emergency standby. FAB, Father. All right, Scott. Get down to Thunderbird 1 and get it ready for launching. I'm on my way. If the Army decides they want our help, we don't want to keep them waiting a minute longer than necessary. I'm 
I'm going down to fix that line on Sidewinder. Begging your pardon, sir, but this is not your kind of job. There's no time to argue. No one's arguing, sir. You're a technical man. It's a question of the man best equipped to do it. He's right, Ralph. Anyway, you'll be needed here by the radio to give the necessary instructions to Sidewinder. If we can get her upright. Atomic reactor down 20 points, Colonel. Down 20? That means the cooling plant is under stress. The fire outside will warm us up, but we should be okay. Right. Sidewinder to Sergeant Reynolds. I'm coming down to try to slip a line over one of the machine's legs. The temperature outside is way up and is building fast. Yeah, I'll have to work fast. If I make it, we'll be able to haul you upright. Great. Maybe if they can get us on our feet, we can climb out of here. Okay, Charlie, let's go. to the copter, Ralph. Right, General. Thanks to Lieutenant Reynolds, we'll soon be out of here, boys. Copter watchdog from Helijet, heading for base hospital, General. Right. Use all speed. That boy needs attention. Captain. Get moving. We've got to get Sidewinder back upright.
not broke. Yeah, but did we make it or not? Calling International Rescue. This is General Peters, U.S. Army. Final defense weapon in immediate danger. Crew of three trapped. Go ahead, John. Father, General Peters has just radioed in. They do want our help. All right, John. Tell them we're on our way. Scott, it's action stations. Thunderbirds are go. FAB. Still no word from that international rescue outfit. I'm certain they're doing their best, sir. Yeah, I guess they are. But we're running out of time. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, Dad, latest information looks like we're gonna need Thunderbird 2 carrying Pod 5, and we'll need Brains along with the team. Right, Scott. Okay, Virgil, Brains, let's go save them. We're on our way, Dad. Pod 5 it is. Thunderbird 1 to General Peters. I've sighted your position on radar. Be with you in four minutes. It can't be too soon for us, pal. How do you doing with that crack, Johnny? He's so dregs are helping, but the heat is terrific on the hull. Keep at it, boys. We've got to hold on. General Peters from Thunderbird 1, is there any news from the trap men? I'm afraid not. Their radio failed 10 minutes ago. Thunderbird 1 from Thunderbird 2, how does it look? Well, Virgil, I'm about to send the remote camera into the crater. It'll give us a good idea what we're up against. little droid thing will burn up in there. It's okay. The camera's specially constructed to withstand extreme heat. Thunderbird 1. Virgil here. Landed at rescue zone. This is real trouble. As soon as the heat dries the rags out, they, they catch fire. Well, at least it stopped some of the smoke. The extreme weight of the sidewinder caused the thin crust of topsoil to collapse at its weakest point. Our plan is to remove the remainder of the crust so that the sidewinder can be dragged safely up the side of the pit. Right, Virgil. Now, can you see the sidewind? No, the smoke is too dense. It's starting to lay charges.
proceeding to drilling position. Calling Mole from Virgil. One more charge to lay, Scott. Good. Be with you in a few minutes. Thunderbird 2 from Mole, burrowing at 70 degree angle. Do you read me on tracker screen, Brains? Uh, loud and clear, Scott. Compensate three degrees left, Scott. Then you should be through. Thanks, Brains. Drilling much easier now. Ready to emerge into crater. Magnets in position. Recovery vehicle engines in transmission. Hey, we're moving. that hauled us out of that pit. One of them. The others are about to leave. I'll never know how to thank you. You saved our lives. The Colonel's right. Now forget it. I'm glad we could help. All you gotta do now is get well again. And how about this other man? Guess he's still sleeping. He'll be okay, mister. He'd have liked to have been awake. So I'll say it for him. Thanks. Thanks for all of us. Scott from Thunderbird 2. About to lift off. See you back at base. FAB. Listen up, rookies. This is Wolverine. You better be watching X-Men this morning when I mix it up with anyone and anything that gets in my path. And nothing, I mean nothing's gonna stand in my way. Get my point? Be right here for X-Men later this morning on Fox. Plucky Duck here. Stay tuned for greatness. Tiny Toon Adventures is coming up next on Fox.